Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to give you a very quick overview of the Compix Dash application. Now Compix Dash comes in a variety of flavors. You have the high-end system, which is the one I'm demonstrating, the Dash 4200. This is a two-channel system. You have the Dash 4100, which is a one-channel hardware system. And you have the Dash 1000, which is a one channel, but it is a one RU chassis unit, so it's not upgradable to a second channel. And then you have a couple of Dash flavors, which integrate with TriCaster, the Dash 150 and 80. Now again, this is the Dash 4200. It is a two channel unit system. So if I open up Compix Dash, it's going to ask me which hardware channel I want to open. So either channel one or two, or um, I could click on open both or preview which enables me to open up one channel as my program and one channel as my preview. Let me just focus on one channel for now and click on open. Now that Compix Dash is opened you have your preview window here your program is next to it you have an empty playlist below and to the right you have a section for your data your stamp which you could play in the foreground or background layer of your playlist and you have your additional run settings right here. Now with all of our dash systems we give you demo files that you could open up and manipulate with uh, templates and even data as well. So if I click on file open and if I navigate to my Compix, Compix dash demo files folder then you have some files that you could navigate to. So for this example let me open up the data example in 1080. Now with this specific example I have data attached to these templates and if I wanted to see the data I could click on data and notice that I have two Excel files and two text files that are associated with it. So let me go ahead and click on connect all to connect to the external files and now if I wanted to call this page up in preview I would double click on it and um, if I wanted to play it in program then I would click on the play button right here. Now um, notice this little tally light right here. This indicates that this page is being watched. Now if I wanted to advance to the next page then I could continue pressing the play button and this would transition off page one and clicking it again would transition on page two. Now through Compix Dash you're able to set override transition effects for these pages. Now these pages are not built in the Compix Dash application. They're built in a application called GenCG. It comes with all of the Dash systems and the, the Dash that works for TriCaster and you're able to use GenCG to either edit these existing templates or you could create your own. It's really up to you. Now if you wanted to open up the page within the CG Editor then you would right click on the page and go to Open CG Editor and this will open up the page within GenCG. And let me go ahead and close the GenCG software and go back to Dash. Now let's say that you have the Soccer Top Goals page playing in your playlist right now and you wanted to insert page 1 and page 4 on top of this pre-existing page. This is where the uh, stamp functionality comes into play. So within stamp I could go ahead and drag page 1 into one of my stamps and I could click on either foreground or background and in this case I'm going to click on foreground and I could run this stamp manually or automatically um, if I set auto this is good for crawls or something where you would want the crawl to loop with a certain type of loop delay if you want it as well um, let me click on manual and I'm going to click on the play button and notice when I do I have this stamp playing on top of my soccer goals page now I could insert up to two stamps so I could click and drag page two into my second stamp now let me choose uh, this one instead and I'm going to click on foreground and play 
and now I have two pages playing on top. So these pages could be completely dynamic if you wanted. They could be animated. Um, if you wanted this stamp to be your scores in your clock, you're able to do that as well. And if I click on the play button, uh, let me go to a different page first and play. And notice that, um, yeah, you have your playlist that plays in the background. Now within Compix Dash, you have this plus button. So if I click on plus, then this is where you would choose the templates that you wanted to insert. Now for this example, I just inserted a dash file. So if you wanted to insert your own templates, then you would open up the plus button and just drag your mouse over the selected templates you want to insert and click on them and click on OK. And now if I wanted to play this out, let me click on the stop and clear button and let me clear both stamps. I could double click on a new template I inserted and notice right below the preview window you have a preview play stop clear and skip so if I click on the preview play you could actually play this out without taking it to air so this just makes sure that everything plays okay if I click on stop or clear then it'll take that out but if I wanted to preview this page for example I could double click on it and click on play now if this page is good to go you don't need to wait for it to finish I could just click on play and this page will automatically play out live now what the skip button does is if I click on skip then this skips to the next page in the sequence automatically so I could skip to page 19 and then I could play page 19 now for every page that you insert you could go into the pages properties and to do that you would right click on the page and uh, you could either delete it cut copy paste you could assign a keyboard shortcut to this page you could open it up in GenCG um, or you could go into the properties of the page now this page is actually a good example because there's data associated to it within the page properties you have your title now this title is fully customizable and below that you have the type the created modified the file path of the GenCG the, the CG editor file and um, you have a description that you could insert as well now below that you have a group of rows and columns now this signifies just all the objects that are within your template so I have a text object that is V location a text object that is H location and I could either click on these to select them or I could hover my mouse over the thumbnail and just use my mouse wheel to select the objects now within this section you could um, either show or hide it you could fit it um, or you could wrap the text so the dynamic text that you insert if it goes beyond the text area then you could have it wrap or fit um, if you wanted everything upper or lower case then you could change that within here and next to that is the value field so this is where you'd actually drag and drop your data elements within to attach so um, if you go into your view then data list these are all of your attached data if I go to insert you could attach either a sportscast interface you could attach a text Excel XML or JSON file now all of these could either be local on your hard drive or they could be on the web so you could just insert your URL if you wanted um, so after clicking on let's say JSON for this example you could give it a description this could be anything you want so only an example and I'm gonna click on OK and um, now that I inserted a JSON I could expand it and I could insert the URL that this is located on or I could browse um, within Compix Dash we give you a lot of example files and they're all within the dash folder demo files and then for data it's within data and I have one JSON file here so I could click on open and you could either have it load one time or you could have Compix Dash watch the file and you could specify how often you want it to watch for new information so I'm going to select watch file connect 
and then get data. And this is basically the JSON. So there's no coding within here at all. Complex Dash just takes all of the objects within the JSON and lists them out like so. So now that you have all the data here, if you want, did want to bring this into any page, then um, I could get rid of this value for vlocation for this example. And if I wanted to fill that with the uh, player name, then all I would do is just drag and drop it into my value field. And I could click on preview and um, notice that everything changes now. And under cap, I have upper. So even though player 11 is um, upper and lowercase, everything is uppercase when it inserts. So after doing this, I could click on save and close. And now my page has been saved within my playlist. Now regarding the title and description, this is pretty neat within Complex Dash. Now I could right click on any page and go into the page properties. But what I could also do is I could right click on the playlist. So um, the playlist for this example is data example 1080. Um, notice I have another playlist that's empty that's called untitled one. So if I wanted to save this dash file, I would go to file, save as, and then I would save the playlist. But when you save a dash file, it saves all the templates and where the data is located and so forth. But it also saves everything within your data section as well. But if I right click on the playlist and if I go into the playlist properties, then notice that within here you have title and you have type, created, updated, but within header you have a title and description here. But this could be anything you want. So instead of title, it could be home players. Instead of description, it could be visitor players. And I could click on these buttons, this kind of like the set button, and then OK. And now that I changed the title and description, I could right click on my playlist. And instead of going to properties, um, you have a thumbnail list view. I could select list view and give it a list view. But notice that my title is now home players and my description is visitor players. Now this would come in handy a lot because uh, Compix Dash has a pretty nifty find feature. So if you have all of your home players or visitor players listed, I could click on Control F to bring up my find window. And um, I could find, let's say, down here it says CEO co-founder. So I could type in CEO, enter. And then notice that it automatically highlights this page and brings it up in a preview for me to instantly take it to air. But within the find window, you could find it within your current playlist or all open playlists. And you could find it within each category. So you could have the find feature look specifically in the title. You could have it call up a page number, description, and just a bunch of categories that, that you could find it within. But what makes it really nice is since title is now the home players, I could use my plus button on my keyboard, the numeric keypad section. The plus button is specifically for finding within title. And the minus button right above it is specifically for finding within description. So I could click on the plus button and then notice my category is automatically title. I could click on the minus button and notice that the category changes to description. So that's basically it guys. Complex Dash is a really neat software. You could do a lot with it. And I hope that this gave you a little taste of what you could accomplish. So thanks for joining me today, guys. If you have any questions, you could contact us at sales at or support at